It's a cool Texas spring morning, and Wade has made his way out to the field and nestled into the cover of a muddy preview three pop-up blind. Throughout the early hours of the day, Wade called in hen after hen, Jake after Jake, and Tom after Tom. But sometimes the birds play by their own rules and don't give you a clean shot, especially when hunting with a bow in thick cover where these birds love to hide. Sometimes they hang up. I mean, we had our opportunities. Got me in early this morning. I'm ready. Didn't have shell. Didn't have an arrow. Didn't have anything. When you're not ready, those things happen. We will not be tagging a turkey today, but we will be back. With the turkey hunting season coming to a close, Wade was right back in the blind the next morning. But he'd chosen a shotgun this time, while patiently waiting for a second chance to fill his Texas turkey tag in this spot. show this morning. <sighs> what a show. You know, the other day we sit over here and I was going to try to take one with a with a bow and we had them gobbling and coming in as perfect conditions and, and they just, they hung up and chased the decoys and everything and we're down to about a day or two left in the season. I decided to grab my shotgun and get in here today because I figured we were going to run and gun. We started here, we had them gobbling over here, we had them gobbling over there. A couple of them back over here, we heard them the other day and Oh man, that's so cool. But, I mean, as the sun comes up, you can hear them gobbling. The hens weren't talking a lot today, so I really was pretty subdued and everything. We put our decoys out, we got everything, and we just kind of sat in here, and I could hear them spitting and drumming. I, I knew they were close, and the crow flew over and they gobbled, and I saw that hen, and I thought, oh man, that hen's going to be our friend, and she kind of got out there, and I started talking to her. She started talking back, and I mean, that was perfect right there. I mean, y'all got to see the whole show. I, when turkeys gobble, and when they strut, and you get to see that whole show, it's phenomenal. You know, we're sitting here in what we call the hole which is kind of down in the bottom i shot that with a 10 uh, 12 gauge and you know that's my basic setup there you use that high vis tri uh, vis sight lights it up i mean you can see how bright that is no matter where you're hunting at and i mean gonna fry that turkey up we're gonna take some beautiful pictures and that's gonna be my texas tag for the year that's pretty awesome right there the show doesn't get any better than that you know, this is a pretty neat little setup on this little rocky hill right here. We put a muddy preview three up here. It's, you know, it's hot this time of the year. We're literally, the season ends in three days. You can see through all the, the mesh inside, so you get to see everything that's going on. And, you know, just like we've done before, we had a big old pile of 
a decoy is late in the season, crazy jaking it, had some hens. We had four hens out here with these toms and they were kind of working and following those ha those hens and we had to have a little battle, a little conversation with the hens, keep them calm. But I mean, when you get to watch them spit and drum and do all that near you, uh, your heart's gonna get pounding. But I mean, they were on gentry side, so I couldn't, you know, shoot anything. I could have shot them through those trees if it had been a traditional hunt. But where I was, it was like, y'all need to get over here. <laughs> and sure enough, they did. It was a good tom, really good tom. Big beard, good spurs. Really a pretty bird all the way around. I mean, a big old. I mean, that herder's ammo took his head out. Look at blood come there. You know, I've started shooting this, the herder's tungsten a lot, and everybody's really ranting and raving about the effectiveness of those types of shells. And, you know, I mean, that, of course, that bird there was probably 23 yards when I shot him. And, uh, I mean, it was a pummeling all the way around. Ah, good hooks. I love those Rio fans when that sun hits them and they're out there strutting and they're doing everything they can. That's just a, a cool, cool moment all the way around. <laughs> Might have to peek out behind them. I'm pretty proud of that. That is a good, mature Tom. Thank you, sir. I sure appreciate it. You gave us a show couple of times and we loved every minute of it. Congratulations, Wade. That's one rockin' Rio.